Welcome to your second stimulus check and stimulus package unemployment update for December 17th. Hope everyone's having a very great day. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and ring the bell and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get right into this. If the 748 billion bill dollar bill passes Congress and becomes law, the new $300 weekly bonus checks would make their way out, but there is no indication that they will be retro retroactive applied. This means that there won't be a lump sum of payments to make up for the previous weeks of not receiving a $300 check. <clears throat> That's if they get this approved today. They're supposed to be approving a $600 stimulus check too, but we'll see how that goes. When those $300 checks will be sent out depends on how quickly the states can turn around and send out the money. The federal government is funding these payments but it's the states who are actually, actually processing the funds. $300 weekly unemployment checks new stimulus bill would pay you through April. For millions of unemployed workers, December 26th is the last check they'll receive as benefits created by the CARES Act in March are set to expire on December 31st. I think that's for the pandemic unemployment. A $748 billion package if passed, would continue the unemployment benefits provided, one more month of eviction moratorium, an extension of student loan deferments until April, and extending the tax incentives for businesses and aid for states and local governments. If you're receiving the PUA pandemic unemployment insurance, you would also receive the $300 bonus under the CARES Act. The pandemic unemployment funding will be available until December 31st. But for many, their last payment will be on December 26. Aid for state and local governments would need to come via the second $160 billion bill, because it's going to try to pass these bills by having them split in two, which also includes a liability protection for company. House Majority Leader Steiny H. Hoyer told reporters Wednesday afternoon that he is hoping for a deal later today or early tomorrow morning. Even if negotiations reach a deal Wednesday or Thursday, clearing it through Congress by Friday midnight deadline could be difficult. The House could vote as soon as Thursday, waiving its usual three-day rule for the review. The Senate then would have to secure unanimous consent, consent among its 100 men members to skip the procedural hurdles and move to a final vote before the deadline. An objection from Sanders or uh, any other senator could cause a brief government shutdown unless lawmakers agree to another short-term funding bill. This concludes a real short update on the stimulus package that could be approved, hopefully today, see if they get it done. Extra $600 stimulus, extra $300 unemployment if they get a pass on the pandemic unemployment. We'll see how this goes. I'm sure I'll be putting up another video today. Please take care, and most of all, be safe.